possible snow chances for the weekend. It's hard to believe summer severe weather season is almost here. All week we've been covering severe weather awareness because we know you want to have a safe summer. And when it comes to dangerous storms, it's tornadoes or hurricanes that people believe kill the most people every year across the globe. But did you know it's actually flooding and flash flooding that claims the most lives? KX News meteorologist Robert Sir explains what you should do if you're caught in your car and the water's rising. We've all been there, stuck in our car during a severe thunderstorm. It's raining so hard you can barely see in front of you. Suddenly you realize the road ahead is underwater, but you're late to your next appointment and you think, it's not that deep, I'll be fine. That is a decision that is not only dangerous, but one that could end up costing you your life. According to the National Weather Service, floods kill more people each year than tornadoes, hurricanes, or lightning. But most people don't take flooding seriously, especially if they are in a car or big SUV. The logic is the car weighs so much it should be able to power through the floodwaters. Unfortunately, that logic claims the lives of hundreds of drivers every year. A third of all flood-related deaths happen in vehicles. In fact, it only takes 12 inches of water to float a car, and two feet of water can pick up and carry most SUVs and cars. It's very easy to underestimate how much water is actually on that roadway that you're trying to drive across. So what might look like just a big puddle could actually be several inches deep, maybe even several feet deep. Driving through floodwaters is also dangerous. Your car's electrical system can short out, causing potential problems, like your vehicle's airbags suddenly going off. The Weather Service says you should never drive through a flooded road, no matter how shallow you think it might be. And underestimating the depth could sweep your car away. So it is very dangerous, and you know, if you're, especially if your car is really low to the ground, um, less than a foot of water, just several inches can actually do some damage. Lastly, if you come across a barricaded road, don't ever drive around it. Just remember, turn around, don't drown. Reporting for KX News, I'm Robert Sir. And Robert adds you should always also never try to walk through floodwaters as just six inches of rushing water has enough force behind it to sweep you off your feet. Mm, it could be really powerful. Meteorologist Tom